Okay, so here's a comparison of various vivid vinyl tints for headlights and taillights that are not in their hexagonal series, meaning they're just straight up colored tints. So I have four different kinds on the headlight of this 2008 Subaru Outback. So starting from this part here, that is, actually, that is light smoke. Uh, the next one over is dark smoke, light blue, and their yellow tint. Um, from here over, you can see it's clear, but not necessarily a good example because of the orange marker there, so you can't really tell, but it is uh, untinted there. Another example of having the yellow tint is on the fog light here in my Outback. So I'll get a better view here so you can see the whole thing. So these tints are in their uh, Premium Plus line. Uh, these dry erase, not dry erase, these dry application ones uh, were initially released, I believe, in 2018. They did some revisions that looked like in 2019 where the um, air release pattern looked a little different and um, it didn't seem to shrink as much as the, as the 2018 models or versions. Um, and then in 2018, or excuse me, in 2020 now, um, there is a, uh, a hexagonal series. Or actually, hex, hex tint came out in 2019, but not the chrome uh, type hex tint. So I'll show that in the next part of the video. So if you wanted to get a comparison of the different good vinyl tints, that's what they look like for just your regular colors without the hexagonal pattern in them. Um, they're dry application. Uh, they apply just like regular vinyl. Uh, you can stretch it over the surface. If you need to heat it, you can heat it. Um, you can see here there's kind of a, a bulbous shape right in the middle of the headlight. This is flat. This area is flat but just a single curve going this way. But then right here is a bulb. So I had to use a little bit of heat and stretching it out and around over that to get the uh, tint to lay down. So the next part of the video will show the different uh, hexagonal pattern tints available from Vivid. Oh, uh, just as a note before going, they do have a matte, these are gloss if you will, um, but there is a matte version of the dark and the light, but I was unable to get any of those for comparison. So what you're seeing here is a, uh, for all intents and purposes, regular or gloss uh, iteration of their tints. Okay, in this comparison, I've got three different tints on here that are uh, Vivid's Hex Tint. This is in the Premium Plus line as well. Um, so over here, I've got Dark Hex Tint. Um, it's actually kind of hard to see the Hex Tint or the uh, Hex Pattern in the Dark Tint there. And I've got their Light Hex Tint. And then here, I've actually I've got their Biopulse, which is basically a chromatic or a holographic chrome hex um, inlay inside or in, embedded in the um, vinyl. And then depending on the angle you hit it with, you can see it's reflecting the holographic rainbow color in a pulsing pattern, uh, which is why they call this the biopulse. And then here, this little sliver here is just clear, uh, non-tinted. So that's what those look like there. Again, these are all dry application, just like the other tints that I showed in the first part of the video that do not have the hexagonal pattern in these. Um, they do shrink back with heat. They apply like regular vinyl. Uh, you just want to make sure that when you do apply them, you don't put your fingers behind any of the part that's going to be on the, on the headlight piece itself because your fingerprints will show up in the adhesive uh, since it is a uh, translucent adhesive. Um, so again, light smoke biopulse hexagon pattern tint, light smoke tint, their hexagon pattern there is actually a just like black color hexagon. These are actually a metallic color hexagon uh, pattern in the tint, and then the dark one. So I'm going to put back on tripod here and get set up and turn on the headlights, uh, and then see what it looks like through the headlight. I meant to do that before pulling off the other clear tints, uh, the non-hexagonal tints. Okay, so this is what it looks like with the headlights on. So the dark is over just the amber marker there. So you can see it, but it is uh, darkened out a little bit. The light smoke with the headlight, I do have LED light bulbs in my main lights there. So it does dampen it a little bit, but with the LED bulbs putting out 
probably about two to three times more light output than your standard halogen. Um, it actually doesn't dim it that much. There is a slight amount of dimming, um, but for all intents and purposes, when you look at the light, it's still pretty darn bright, staring right at it. Um, with this, the biopulse does not shine through the light, and in fact, it's kind of hard to see it because, oh, there we go. The light is shining, but it's only on the outside, it seems. So, so looking straight through it, you don't see it, but different angles, you'll probably see some of the rainbow chromatic effect or holographic effect. So that's what it looks like with the headlight on. All right, so the last two I wanted to show you are the clear holographic hex tint and the light smoke holographic hex tint. Now this one is different in that it's regular holographic hex tint. It's not that biopole, so it just looks like there's a holographic glimmer, rainbow glimmer in that versus it kind of pulsing around um, like this. That's the biopulse pulsing around. And then this is just a regular holographic. So I've got the clear on there. Um, it is translucent or clear, mostly clear. Um, there's a little bit of cloudiness, if you will, uh, that you're seeing mostly because of my headlight. I'm going to clear that next, uh, but because of the adhesive and the, um, the air release pattern in there. But with a little bit of heat and some sunlight over it, that will disappear. So, and then on this side of the headlight, it's totally clear. I haven't put anything on there. Um, to get a better idea of what, say, for example, this clear would look like on an entire headlight, I do have it over here on my whole headlight here. And then if you're interested in seeing what holographic um, light smoke looks like, I have it on my tail light of this car. And actually I do have the clear on this window, rear quarter window. But this is it on my um, tail light. Not really getting, it's a cloudy cast over overcast day, so I'm not really getting any sunlight hitting it. So. Let me get my flash, my phone's flashlight here. Get that turned on. And so, hitting it with just a little bit of light there. Sorry guys, this isn't really the best example, but you see I'm hitting it with some light, and it's getting a holographic effect onto it. So that's just light from my phone. But in the sun, you can imagine it would be doing something more like um, what this is doing there. All right, so next I'll turn on the headlights here so you can see what it looks like with the headlights on. All right, so this is now with the headlights on and my fog light as well, which has the yellow vivid tint in it and an LED bulb behind that. Um, some of the rainbow effect from the holographic clear goes, you can kind of see it there. The smoke, it is a little light smoke there. It is dark, darkened out a little bit, as you can tell the difference between where the light smoke is and the um, holographic clear. And then on the part where I have no vinyl on, you can kind of see a little bit of difference there. Um, but for the most part, it is pretty, pretty clear. It doesn't block the light at all. If anything, I would think maybe it slightly diffuses it a bit. Um, but I'll go back a little bit further here so you can see the other side here which has the whole headlight encased to include the blinker marker with the holographic clear looking at it that way pretty bright light still I do have LED bulbs in here so do a comparison kind of looking this way And then for poops and grins, not really a chrome delete, but just overlaying that clear holographic on the chrome, one of the chrome bars of my grill. All right, guys. So this is practically all of the uh, vivid tints that are available. So the only ones I didn't get to demonstrate because I was not able to get some were the matte ones. So what we saw was um, regular light smoke, regular dark smoke. Um, yellow tint, light blue tint, and then we had um, dark hex, light hex, 
with non-holographic, and then we had Biopulse Hex, um, and then Clear Hex uh, Holographic, and Light Smoke Hex Holographic. So hopefully this gives you an idea of what they might look like on your car or your grill or your taillight if you're looking to use any of the Vivid um, brand headlight taillight tints. Uh, would I recommend them? I, I would. I personally like them. I've been using them for a few years now. They apply very easily. Um, as long as you know how to account for and work with the film uh, it, and you apply it properly, it will last uh, quite a long time. Um, and it applies just like regular vinyl. It is dry application, uh, which is one of the things I also like about it. So hopefully you found this video to be helpful um, and informative. And if you did, please, please, please give it a thumbs up and hit that um, subscribe button. Thanks, guys.